So it's uh, Ryan and Tails End, and uh, it is the Oscar nominating season. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the 83rd annual Oscar nominations have, or 82nd, I'm sorry, uh, are going to be announced on uh, Sunday, March the 7th. And so uh, the big change this year are the there are now 10 movies nominated for the Best Picture Award, and I'll go them through them very quickly. Avatar, The Blind Side, District 9, In Education, Hurt Locker, uh, Inglorious Bastard, Precious, based on the novel Push by Sapphire, A Serious Man, Up and Up in the Air. So all of these I've actually watched, and um, there's actually a uh, there's a sci-fi in there, District 9, and there's a Up, which is a um, uh, animated film. So uh, who knows? So there are a lot of nominees, so I'm just going to go through uh, the, the basic... Uh, acting ones and the directors because there's too many nominees here. Uh, for uh, best performance for an actor in a leading role, Jeff Bridges, George Clooney, Colin Firth, Morgan Freeman, and uh, Jeremy Renner. Uh, now, uh, conventional wisdom says that the person who won the uh, the uh, Golden Globe Award uh, for best actor, which is uh, Jeff Bridges, is probably going to win the Oscar. It looks that way as well. Um, there are uh, three in here that are strong contenders and then there's George Clooney. I don't think George Clooney is going to get the um, the Best Actor nomination or the guest Best Actor win for the Oscar. Colin Firth in A Single Man is a compelling uh, actor who plays a gay man who had lost his uh, lover. Uh, Morgan Freeman who plays Nelson Mandela after the end of apartheid during the, uh, the uh, Rugby World Cup, and then Jeffrey Renner, who plays a uh, bomb specialist in her locker. I think Jeff Bridges is the number one contender here, but that's just my opinion. Who knows? In the uh, best performance by an uh, actress for lean role, Sandra Bullock, who also won the Golden Globe and the Screen Actors Guild Award, is the the favorite here. Um, there are a uh, couple. Well, there's there's one surprise here, and that is Gabore Gabori uh, Sidibe, and she is the person who played Precious in the movie Precious. Uh, very very good actress. I'm surprised that she got a nomination, but I'm glad that she got a nomination. But again, here in this category, Sandra Bullock. Uh, Helen Mirren, Carrie Mulligan, uh, Gabri Sabidi, and uh, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep may pull off the upset for Julie and Julia because, um, to quote my brother, <laughs> there were times when you're watching uh, Julie and Julia where uh, you're watching it and you, don't, you, you completely forget that that's not actually Julia Child and that's Meryl Streep. So that's what I say on that. Meryl Streep may be the spoiler this year for that, but uh, Sandra Bullock looks to be the leading person in this category. Best performance by an actor um, in a supporting role is uh, Matt Damon for Invictus, uh, Woody Harrelson for The Messenger, Christopher Plummer for Last Station, Stanley Tucci for Lovely Bones, and uh, Christoph Waltz for uh, Inglorious Bastards. And again, um, the person who won the Golden Globe for this is Christoph Waltz, who plays Hans Landa in Inglorious Bastards. Perfect role for him. Uh, the the scary, yet um, uh, articulate, terrible villain for Inglorious Bastards. He won the Golden Globes, and um, I would say, again, he has a chance. Uh, it good good for Matt Damon for getting a uh, a nomination in Invictus because uh, he didn't say much in that movie, but there, there's a lot of good acting in there. Uh, I, if you know me, I don't really like Matt Damon in most things, but uh, he did a really good acting job here. So I say. 100% that Christopher Waltz uh, from Germany for Inglorious Bastards. Um, for uh, Best Supporting Actress, we have uh, Penelope Cruz in Nine, Farah Farmiga in Up in the Air, Maggie Gyllenhaal for Crazy Heart, Anna Kendrick for Up in the Air, and Monique for, uh, for uh, Precious. And in this category, I would say that the two big contenders are Maggie Gyllenhaal for Crazy Heart, who plays the sort of abuse, tragic, uh, woman for uh, Jeff Bridges in Crazy Heart. Uh, she is a journalist who falls in love with Jeff Bridges, and that role always grabs at the heart the the, the poor, abused, poor, neglected uh, other woman. And then Monique, who plays 
about the scariest stepmother or mother that you could ever have. Like, you know, that evil stepmother character in Precious. Uh, very abusive. Very not like Monique. Monique is, is such a good comedic actress. And I, I bet you after all the scenes where she gets to throw chicken and things at at uh, Gabourey Sidi in Precious, it's, uh, I can't imagine that they didn't just hug and laugh afterwards, like, you got chicken grease on me, <laughs> kind of stuff. But um, I think Monique is the number one chance for winning an Oscar here, and she really does deserve an Oscar nomination, and an Oscar, Maggie Gyllenhaal will be my second choice there. So there you go. Best Director goes to um, three huge names uh Catherine Bigelow who is the former wife of James Cameron for Avatar um Lee Daniels for Precious uh Jason uh, Reitman for Up in the Air and Quentin Tarantino for Inglorious Bastards here I'm not sure uh James Cameron won two and Catherine Bigelow won two uh, awards this season for the two big ones for each so um I'm going to say I'm leaning towards Catherine Bigelow only because Avatar is sci-fi and the Academy Awards usually does not award things for sci-fi. My brother says that uh, the reason Lord of the Rings won is because it was uh, fantasy and not sci-fi. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think uh, Quentin Tarantino is a good choice as well, but um, I think it's going to uh, be the former husband and wife, uh, Catherine Bigelow or James Cameron. It's going to be one of those to win the best director. Now, there are a lot more nominations that I would like to talk about, but this movie is already about seven minutes long. Um, so uh, check out mo most of the best pictures of the year nominations are very, very good pictures to watch. Um, I, with the uh, exception for me of Avatar, which I said I didn't like and I still don't like, um, the rest of the nominations are good. Although Avatar, of course, being the number one uh, seller for any movie of all time has a good chance of winning best picture it looks like the way that it's uh set up that there's now 10 it's going to be a lot tighter of a race than it has been in the past so uh check out the nominations you can go to imdb.com or you can go to um you can go to the oscars.com you can print out like a little form and pick before the Oscar night comes so we have about a month until that happens so uh, go get watching movies it's a very good movie year this year and uh, it's Ryan the Tales End signing off have a good day